go with this. Uh, Mr. Zandi, as someone who works uh, closely uh, with the markets, uh, do you think that big private investors will be willing to partner up with the government to buy these toxic assets? Yeah, sure, if it's, uh, if it's profitable enough. And it sounds like the way this is being set up, it, it, it certainly will be. Uh, in a sense, the, the government is going to lend money to private investors and the interest rate is going to be quite low. And also the government is going to uh, shelter the investors from any downside risk. So if it is organized well enough, I think, uh, yeah, you'll get a lot of private investors. I, I mean, I know out of the ashes of Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns and Merrill Lynch, a, a lot of companies have been formed, hedge funds and other uh, investor groups have been formed. Uh, they're waiting uh, to understand what this program is all about and, and how it works. And, and once they do, uh, they will come in and they will buy. And, and in fact, I do think Senator Corker is right. I, I don't think stimulus by itself is the answer. In fact, the, the most important thing is shoring up the banking system, the financial system. And the TALF that he mentioned is very important. It's already begun. It seems to be working reasonably well. And the private public bank, the, the idea that the Treasury has, uh, is also a reasonably good idea. Now, it, there's a lot of details. We don't know uh, a lot about how this is going to work yet, but at least in theory, it's, it's quite an elegant plan, and I think there will be investors, Gen yes. Gentlemen, I want to move Chris, on. Chris, I'm excuse me, but can I respond to Bob Corker's partisan attack in the name of partisanship? Uh, because the fact is, nobody in the administration or on our side in Congress is focusing on the second stimulus. We only answer that when we are asked about it. As far as being partisan, I was asked about the AIG bonuses. The fact is that these are commitments that were apparently made during the Bush years. There is a difference between the way the Bush and Obama administrations have imposed conditions. That's just a fact. But this notion that, oh, stop focusing on the stimulus, we're not. Uh, my committee, the committee that I chair, we are focusing on the credit issue. Mr. Geithner, hey, hey, here's the, the hey, kind of catch-22. Congressman, can we, can we turn to the, because I know you always like to talk substance, let's talk about the budget. Uh, well, I do want to rebut a false charge that we have somehow focused on well, the stimulus uh, the problem and not is credit that, that, that simply you know, is now I can, I can give I can give Senator Corker, I was trying to stay on substance. Uh, let's well, Jim, Chris, if you want to, then don't let political attacks go. That well, you know, I, I can't, mu I can't muzzle. You know what? Go ahead, Senator Corker. If, if you'd rather get into a food fight, Senator, uh, Congressman uh, uh, Frank, let's go ahead. Go ahead, Senator Corker. You want to talk about the budget or do you want to get no, in a food fight? I'd love to talk about the budget, and I, I would go back to uh, what Mr. Goolsby said earlier, talking about health care. There is a, a $600 billion gap uh, that the administration has pointed out. No doubt they're very open to taxing uh, benefits of Americans in health care because that's how they're going to fill the gap. So I'd love to talk about the budget. All right, and, let me uh, ask it. Let, let me and, and, the wait, wait, wait. and let me just say this. On the budget, I would like to say that I think it's interesting when a lender, when your lender uh, starts being concerned about where you are, I know this from years in business, you better be very careful. Our biggest lender, China, is very concerned about this budget, very concerned about where it's taking I, our I, country, I, very concerned Senator, about our I'm ability get to, that. to pay I'm going to get to that in a second. I wanna, okay. I, I'm really going to do a lightning round here and get you to give me quick answers, you and Congressman Frank. This idea of taxing health, uh, uh, employee health benefits, uh, Congressman Frank, you, you like the idea or not? No, I don't. I'm for a, a single-payer health care system like Medicare. I would say this. If we have an adequate health care system in place and it covers people's needs, if some separate group of people want to make some separate arrangement for, for luxury benefits, that might be something you look at. But no, that's not what I would like to see, and that's not what I'm for. I'm for a, uh, a, a general uh, health plan that uh, looks like the Medicare plan for everybody. Uh, uh, Senator Corker, uh, health care benefit taxes? Look, I, uh, uh, I, I want to see what's proposed. I, I, uh, I want to see a private system that uh, gives people affordable quality health care and choice. And uh, I'm just watching as this evolves. I've developed my own plans in the past which give people uh, that ability. I, I'm watching and certainly seeing what Max Baucus uh, presents on the Senate okay, side. Okay, and finally, Mr. Zandi, we can only, I can only give you 30 seconds. I'd like you to uh, respond to, uh, to Senator Corker on this issue. The Chinese have raised concerns mm -hmm. about the safety of their investment, and they own about a quarter of all U.S. Treasury debt. Uh, how worried should we be about that? 30 well, seconds. We, sh we should be worried. Uh, half of all our Treasury debt is purchased by foreign investors. Chinese are a big part of that. Uh, I think, though, that this is, their concern is in the long run. I, I think in the very near term, we have to be aggressive and use government resources to shore up the economy in the next two, three years, but then immediately turn to reducing the size of our long-term budget deficits, because if we don't, 
Uh, investors like the Chinese will turn away and we will face measurably higher interest rates and a much weaker economy. Congressman Frank, Senator Corker, Mr. Zandi, I want to thank you all so much for helping us sort through where things stand with the economy. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.